been about five minutes. Um, I'm going to go ahead and peel this tape. Okay, that's a good sign. It didn't peel none of my color off there, um, which is good because I didn't, this didn't dry for probably an hour, if not even that. Okay, and I'm going to peel my other piece off, make sure to leave my, my pinstripe on there, piece of tape. Alright, and you can kind of see, whoops, excuse me, you can kind of see, uh, I don't know if you can or not, it's going to be hard to tell, but you can see my, my piece of 16th tape there, and you can see where that other tape overlapped it, and I just cut it on top of the pinstripe. Now I'm going to leave that pinstripe on there. That pinstripe is going to stay until the very end. So what I'm going to have to do now is I want to protect this color from masking. I don't want to mask directly on top of this acrylic and because and, I have a feeling it would probably peel pieces of it off. So this is where I'm going to intercoat is what it's called. I'm just going to take my Krylon. You can, and dull coat works good too. T dull coat I prefer because it actually goes on even thinner. And it, and, it, and it dries real quick. It flashes off quick. But I'm just going to use the Krylon this time because I've used it before so for this for a lot of paint jobs and it seems to work out just fine. I'm just going to go out and I'm going to do just a very light dust of... I'm not going to worry about taping or nothing. I'm just going to do a real light dusting of, of Krylon Clear over everything. Tape, everything. And let that kind of dry up. And then I'll, I'll feel better about masking off over the top of this black and all that kind of stuff for my next color. Alright, I made my first screw up. I went out to clear that. Peeled off the tape and I was going to put just a light layer of clear. I grabbed the wrong can, which was white. And, uh, you know, shook it up real good, went outside, shook it up real good, sprayed a little off to the side. It was coming out clear and then as soon as I started spraying, over this, the white was coming out, and I just stopped right away, and it's like, oh, shit. So I got white paint, which was no biggie, because I just flipped it over, retaped it, resprayed my black, just like I showed, peeled off my excess masking, left my pinstripe tape, and then I hit it with the crystal clear, uh, and, and, and just laid a real light coat of clear over the top of it. So that's where I'm at, because I'm going to be painting blue up here anyway on top of that, and the white only got didn't get all the way down across the whole sheet anyway. So uh, yeah, first mistake, but I learned a lesson in it. It was kind of good that happened because I noticed where I cut my tape on top of the pinstripe tape, I cut a little too deep in some places and it shows. So when this time I cut very lightly, I mean just grazed the knife across and the Tamiya tape just peeled right up. So I was much lighter with my knife, and so I learned a lesson from that. Actually, that's going to help me. Uh, so it's kind of good that happened. But anyway, I had to flip the piece over and, and do it again to get back to where I'm supposed to be, and this has that clear on it. Uh, next step would be letting this um, dry, cure for a while, tape this side off, and then spray the blue on this side. All right, got the... Uh, Got, got my blue mixed up now, ready to spray. I went ahead and taped off the black now. This dried for probably, it's been about 45 minutes or so. I let that, that mist coat of Krylon dry. Ran a sheet of the Tamiya tape across. Went back and cut in the middle of my pinstripe very, very lightly, very lightly. Almost just scoring it. That's all you gotta do is just score that stuff and it'll peel. Um, making sure I don't cut into the pinstripe tape. Yeah, Squirt a little bit of thinner in here. Get some, get some uh, paint. I'm just gonna go ahead and paint the whole thing just because it's where I screwed up. Um, just to cover all that up. Get this mixed here a little bit. This is pretty thin, so I'm going to take it easy with it, not spray too uh, hard and heavy because then it'll run. Just light. Make sure it's spraying, not spattering and all that. <clears throat> Let's see, I'll just turn it this way. Just 
holding the trigger down and just kind of pulling back lightly, keeping the trigger held down the whole time. I'm not like spraying and stopping, letting go, spray, stop it. Just hold the trigger down, let the air flow. Just keep the air flowing. And just adjust your trigger back and forth for a little bit less, a little more. Now that I've got a little on there, I'm pulling back just a little bit more. Get the hang of it, it's pretty easy. Spraying past the part, not spraying too close. Spray too close and you'll get like real, you know, lines in it. So you just kind of got to find that where it's you're far enough away, but it's not so far away that it's dry, you know, going on dry and pebbly. It's just lightly misting. And uh, I mean, it's not, it's, it's drying as, about as quick as it's hitting it. So there's no uh, wet spots or anything showing up. Other than where, you, where it's going on, you see the little little damp looking, and then it just dries by the time you go right back across it. So I'm just, just keeping on going. Just, just, just continuing to, just putting on the light. I mean, I've, this, I've barely sprayed, and you know, just a tiny amount of what I've got in the thing here so far. That's the thing about these um, airbrush paints. They're very strong. It doesn't, you don't have to put them on real heavy. Trip, you know, I want to keep it light, actually. Um, I'm actually not going to spray up along the tape a whole lot more because I've got pretty decent coverage. I'm going to keep it, more or less, just fill in the rest of it. And just lightly kind of dust up to that edge and trying to keep it thin. Until I just feel like it's a, yeah, a good, nice, solid coat. Yeah. And if it ever starts getting wet and glossy looking, stop and let that dry off for a minute. Uh, so far, I haven't had. I'm not seeing it do that. It's going on real. These 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 paints airbrush wonderful. I, I can't complain. And they hand brush, awesome, whole lot better than Tamiya, but they spray as good as Tamiya. Some of the colors are better, some of Tamiya is better, but uh, they're good paints. There's, there's no doubt about it, these are very good paints. But uh, yeah, that's a pretty good coverage there, I'd say. But it went on light, just light, working my way down. By the time I started working back up, it was dry back down, up and down. It never really got wet looking. Just kind of went on dry. Almost, you know, drying is, as soon as it's on there, it was drying and leveling out and it's a pretty smooth finish. So I'm gonna stop there and just let that seal up a little bit. I mean, it's already drying, so there's not much I can, you know, it's not like I need to pull the tape off right away or anything. I mean, it's already dry, so it's not going to matter a whole lot. Um, I'm going to go ahead and clean out my airbrush, and I'll come back and peel the tape. All right, moment of truth here. I cleaned up my airbrush and uh, laid my paper over, so I got a clean, got some clean paper here. Uh, I'm going to peel off this Tamiya tape. See how, uh, you know, I could have waited a day for each coat to dry or half a day and all. I didn't do that. I mean, I've been having waited less, not even an hour between any coat here. All right. You can see it peeling, but that's, that's off the top of the tape is what it's peeling. Because that pinstripe tape is resilient to paint. So far, so good. I will wait. Now, when I do the car, I'll wait longer between coats uh, before I put other coats on and tape and stuff. I'll wait a lot longer, take my time on it. Um, all right, and then I'm, off comes this piece. It's been down since the beginning. 
and there's some of the paint is from the top of the tape has kind of fell on there. Kind of blow that off a little. There's the uh, the blue, the silver, and then the black, which is going to be on the car, um, on the side of the car. And then now it's, I'm going to tape this off, spray one side with the clear, spray the other, then tape that side, spray the other side with the clear, and see how they react. Because I got three different I got three different surfaces here. I've got this is this is straight up model master paint. This is the silver is um, the lacquer, the one coat. This has got a light coat of Krylon. So I've got three different surfaces on here. And there's no telling how the clear that I use is going to react with one or the other of, of these. So I'm going to let this cure now. I'm going to let it cure for a good while. I mean, the best way to test it, I know I had a video up before I took it down because it was silly. But really, the best way to test this stuff is to smell it. You'll know when it's cured if you can't smell the paint anymore. And just hold it up to your nose. And, and just take a whiff of it. If you can still smell paint, um, it's probably not cured. You know, it's, it's not finished gassing off because that's what you're smelling is the gas, the smell. Uh, once the paint's cured, you should barely smell it. Just barely smell anything at all, you know. Um, that's a good way to test paint, if paint is cured or not, is to sniff it. Uh, it's called, I call it the sniff test. But man, it's, it's pretty darn accurate. Your nose is not, your nose is accurate. I mean, and, uh, but if you, if you put this up and you take a good whiff of it um, and you can't really smell much of anything or just barely faintly smell, chances are that it's good and cured or it's cured enough. I mean, some paints take forever to cure, but you'll know it when you smell them. But anyway, so I'm going to let that, you know, I'm going to do a much cleaner, nicer, more time-consuming, a little more careful job on the car. Uh, but my main thing was just to see what the colors look like. I kind of went quick about it, spraying and seeing how paints react and all, and that was the, the purpose of the experiment. You know, I wasn't going to like paint a color, wait a day, paint a color, you know, spend three days on a test piece. Um, chances are that when I do the car, I'm going to take a lot more time between colors and let them, you know, flash out and, and dry a lot longer. If they didn't peel off here, then it's definitely going to work on the car. So the next step, let this let this cure up and dry until I can kind of don't really smell anything coming off it. It smells dry, so to speak. And then I'm going to hit it with a couple different clear coats and see how that comes out. Stay tuned.